Hello everybody, it's Tim and Joel from Silver Arrow Cars and this is our very cool and very, very nice 1973 MGB Roadster uh, finished in not its original color, but I would say an improvement over the original. It was white to start and when the refurbishment and restoration was done approximately 10 years ago, it was changed to green. Uh, we're just going to walk you around the car, show you the important pieces and bits and uh, give you a better idea and you, so you can use this as a uh, supplement to all the photos that we've provided. So the paint quality is very, very good across the entire car, uh, both into the engine compartment and uh, down uh, both sides of the vehicle. Nice straight lines, good fitment on doors and panels. Um, we'll just slide you under the hood right now. So the engine was taken out and serviced, resealed. Uh, a header was added and I believe full stainless steel exhaust from the header back. Pistons were upgraded. So this should have and does feel like it has more zip than um, just an, an original completely bone stock MGB. Very good job in the engine compartment. Everything looks very correct. Um, from everything that I know on an MGB. Uh, starts every time, very reliable. He drove this a lot, and it was one of his most uh, coveted cars to drive and rip around the small streets of uh, Victoria and here on Vancouver Island. All the chrome <clears throat> is in very good condition across the entire car. Um, I don't know and I can't confirm if he re-chromed when he did his restoration. It does look very good and there's very, very small amount of uh, pitting or patina to any of the chrome. Looking in the grill here, emblem looks great. Looks like these are correct stickers in the engine compartment. Fitment of the hood is great. Latch all works like it should. The uh, side markers and the front lights, bezels all look really good. The wire wheels look brand new. Looking down the side of the car, the waistline trim all looks really good. gaps are very very good yeah rockers all in good shape very little imperfections in the paint that I can find again knock off rear wheels great condition door handles door fitment all really good latches I'd say the only perfect Factory Vintag. A lot of people. The only, uh, the one thing I want to paint, point out in the paint, would be along this fender here, and the paint is just bubbling a little bit, and I believe that is from uh, he had it stored for a short period of time, uh, and he had something covering the car, and there was some contact and moisture in between the two. Everywhere else looks really good rear lights that covers the whole tonneau. rear tonneau looks like it's new uh, we have the other one fitted right now all the snaps stitching everything is good no tears jack all the carpets look good in the rear. Lenses look nice on the rear of the car. A little patina to the uh, gas cap. Rear bumper shows like the front. That's just a little bit of road film. Very, very high quality. That looks new. Around the other side of the vehicle, again, same thing. 
looking down the side of it here you can see not wavy very high gloss no orange peel or anything to point out all the wheels are in the same same condition Let's see if I can find a date code on these tires I don't see one but they look they look fairly new looks like it was a new door sill ducks around here uh, all looks good through here so let's have a quick look at the interior obviously a pretty small car not a lot to show you door panels look nice a little puckering here around the around the handle but all the vinyl is in really good shape armrest pad really good the seats are in great shape those were obviously redone the piping matches the soft top also perfect all the dash there's another Vintag I'll show you. The dash pad, no cracks. Uh, good fitment on the glove box. As we were saying in the driving video, uh, the vents and louvers all work properly. All the switches work. Transmission feels really nice. Excuse the plane in the background. center console all in great shape a little light the emblem all good uh, looks like we just need to tighten those screws really really good shape across the entire car Are we selling this out of Blaine Blaine Washington be there tomorrow so Car will be sold out of Blaine, Washington on a Washington state title. The car is headed there tomorrow. So you can bid on the car as if the car is in the United States. And it will be on a U.S. title. If you need any help with shipping, please reach out. Contact us directly. Uh, and we can help facilitate, get it to wherever it's going to go. Whether it's going to go overseas or stay in North America. Either one, we can help you guys with that. But... Really, really nice car. I'm not the biggest MG fan. Uh, this one, I quite like. It's fun to drive. A lot of the time when you get in one of these cars, things are broken. Uh, it needs some kind of restoration. Obviously the cost of doing a restoration on any car can usually get out of control. And when you're doing it on a car that's like this one, which is you know, in the neighborhood of $20,000, you can quickly surpass the value of the vehicle. So it's rare to find one that has everything sorted and feels as clean and as tight as this car so neat car please reach out happy bidding just show you the top real quick it does have a zip out rear window it's a pretty cold day here so the windows Take a little bit of heat while we're driving to uh, just smooth out but the entire top is in really good shape no rips no tears like Tim said the piping does match the seats all looks really good together what a cool car oh I will point this out on the in and around the window uh, the anodized uh, window frame all in good shape there's some splits in the in the rubber here at the base on the corner of the front of the windshield and it's on both sides I think that would be a fairly easy repair to take care of so that's it give you a better look with that top on please reach out happy bidding 
This will be a great car wherever it ends up. Thank you.